I don't have kids. I had that moment when I realized why you guys do have kids. Uh, Sutton was sick. He's at nursery school and he got sick. He puked. That's all I do really is puke. <laughs> like dogs. Just <laughs> all the t- do you remember can you puke? It's, for me, it was a really traumatic experience. You're just sad and you're overwhelmed. It's almost like comparable to being depressed as an adult is when you throw up as a child. Just, it's parallel, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> just a thought that came to me. Um, so when I was always sad when I threw up, and I had to go pick him up because my brother has a job and I usually don't. And so I walk, I go to the nursery school. And he's sitting down on the cot and it's just sad. And I go, Sutton, you okay? What happened? And he goes, a hot dog fell out of my mouth. And I got it. I knew it at that point. I'm like, oh, I just want to take care of him. I'm, I want to live for that guy and just protect that guy, you know? It's horrible. You just feel so bad for them. But then they get older and, oh my gosh, they're hard to deal with when they're older, right? I have a little sister. My dad and my stepmom adopted from Russia. 11 years old. Oh my gosh. You guys have to admit that's an annoying age when they're 11 years old. Or do you guys love everything? <laughs> When they're that age, they have an attention-seeking constitution that is relentless, <laughs> relentless. She, she says one of two things. She says, watch me, or look at this. That's all she ever says. Watch me, look at this. Look at this, watch me, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Watch me, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Well, <laughs> See, it's annoying, right? You guys get it, it's frustrating. And that's not the annoying part. Here's the annoying part. I'm watching her the whole time. That's the frustrating thing. It's like, what are you missing right here? This is windows to the soul right here. The little monkey. Look at this. Watch me. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so she does. She's like, what number is that? What number is that? How, it's so frustrating. <laughs> so I'm curious about what you guys' stance is when it comes to, and I'm sincerely curious about when it comes to um, punishing your kids. When it comes to spanking, you guys believe in spanking? Kids, by a round of applause, who believes in spanking? Okay, okay. Boom, you let them have it, it's release, it's necessary. Good for you guys. I get it. Just getting engaged. Now, by round of applause, who does not believe in spanking kids? It's always that softer pitter patter. <laughs> it's adorable. It's adorable. It's like, I'm not even going to hurt my other hand because I'm so gentle. <sighs> it's very subjective. There's no right or wrong answer to it. But I love to get advice to parents because I don't have kids and they love nothing more than that. <laughs> I can't spank my little sister. That's a weird boundary that I'm not, you know, like we're not, that's weird. So here's what I, here's what I do. And this isn't a joke, but hear me out because I don't know how this is gonna, how you guys are gonna respond to this. Um, when, <laughs> when my sister is in my face, just not paying attention. I honestly enjoy sneezing in the faces of small children. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love you guys. Yes, good for you guys. You sh- <laughs> Just hear me out, okay? Over here, you guys hear me out. You sneeze right in their face. Because nothing usurps the attention of a 10 or 11 year old better than a sneeze to the face. They don't know how to take it. They're conf- Cause it's never happened. They're like, what is it? Well, they're confused. They stop. They're like, what is this? They focus, they're listening. It's like airborne Ritalin. It's, it's effective. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.